Alright, so today in both Photoshop Elements 9 and Adobe Photoshop CS5, we'll be learning how to convert selections of our photo into black and white so that we can make our subject of our photo stand out that much more. So the first thing you want to do is select with the quick selection tool what part of the photo that you actually want to keep. And so, I'll just make a quick, quick selection here. Lower the brush size for, for getting in a little tighter. And then I'm going to grab this little piece up here. And this is the minimize tool. If you don't actually want this piece in here, you can actually take it out. And subtract from selection and then this is the add and you can click the plus and grab a little bit more brush there grab a little more brush there and minimize again Alright, so we have this all selected, and now what we want to do is go to Select, Inverse, and what this does is draw a box around all of the green, and it leaves this out. So whatever we do next, it won't be applied to this, this, this part of the photo, or this part of the photo, it cut it out. So, Image, Enhance, well, Enhance, Convert to Black and White and then you can see the difference before and after and how this is all not black and white and this is alright all right, so you can adjust these sliders back and forth and kind of play with the level intensity as they call it I like that and you can you can adjust the actual style so you can have an infrared and then you can have like a newspaper black and white and then portrait scenic urban snapshots vivid landscapes and you can mess with the contrast Alright, so if you're ha once you're happy, you just click OK and select, de deselect, and this is what you'll be left with. You can save it at this point, and as whatever you uh, as whatever you like, and then just click save, and then I always turn the ma the quality up to maximum, and it'll give you this. Alright, so in Photoshop CS5, it's pretty much the same thing. Just grab the click selection tool and do the same steps that you just did. Turn the brush size down to get in tighter. Don't forget to click the plus. And there's that. And then it's select inverse. And then you can see as it's selecting all this around here, our effect will be applied adjustments, black and white. And then this one you have a lot more settings that you can adjust. You can adjust the red, the yellow, the green, cyan, blue, magenta, and you can add a tint to it. You can change the hue of the selected area. 
change the saturation. You can just get different effects by changing the colors, changing the level of the different colors. Alright, so that's pretty much how this works. Alright, so image adjustments, black and white, and OK. And then select, deselect, and then there's our finished product, our flower stands out a lot more. Thanks for watching.